Hello. Lens test. I was gonna film something else, but actually I realized that I haven't really filmed the lens test. So I have the Blazar Remus Anamorphic set, 1.5 time squeeze anamorphics, full frame on a Sony FX3. The flares are pretty tame, I'm gonna say. They're, I have the blue set, but I wouldn't say that the blue is prominent, like the Cures or the Atlas Orions or anything like that. So I'll grab a flashlight just to show you, but it's pretty tame, honestly. Very chill, this is the 45. Right here I'm lighting aperture, or I'm lighting with an Amaran 200D. Uh, open face, no reflector, no Fresnel. Uh, going into 40 by 40 beadboard and then coming back through a half soft frost, six by six. So hopefully it looks naturalistic and good. Now we are at T4 on the 45 mil. Aberrations kind of less probably. Barrel distortion on this lens is great. Uh, it looks beautiful. It feels more like an actual anamorphic set, not a cheap anamorphic set. Feels kind of like the Kawas. Um, so yeah, here's the flare at T4, I guess. Kind of, T4 definitely sharpens things up. It's not as soft, not as much chromatic aberration off to the edges. Okay, now we're at T8 at 180 degree shutter. Looks good. Um, let's check the flares. Yo, that's sick. I like that star pattern. I love the starburst flares from the Ingenues and from the Speed Pancros. So this is actually sick that these do that. This is T22 with the shutter absolutely cranked. Um, yep. The flare still looks good. Yeah, the starburst is great down to, well, that's kind of way more pronounced, that's dope. Anyway, okay, that's T22. So that's the 45. Let's go through 65 mil 1.5 X. This is at T2, check the flare. This fall off looks really nice. Over there and over there. Here is the flare for the 65. Even though I still think this is a silly test. Anyway, we'll hit T4, 5, 6, 8, and then I guess 22 for funsies. This is the 65 at T4. We're getting the starburst pattern to show up just a tiny bit. Very nice. 180 degree shutter at T8. Now oh, we're getting that starburst. That's really nice. Dope. All right, let's go to T22. So the 45, the 65, both go down to T2. You can see right here. Focus throw is pretty good. Maybe 140 degree focus throw, if I had to guess. But these things are pretty nice. The element is beautiful. It looks very, very nice. Um, and the 1.5 is actually, I would say, probably my favorite squeeze factor right now. Let's see what the flares look like. Okay, these ones are stronger for sure. Yeah, those flares are pretty strong. This is the 100 mil at T4 flare. Honestly, gonna say it, I think 
the T4 is the move on the 100. T2 is, or T28 is fine, but for some reason, just the fall off that we're getting with the four feels way better to me. Um, yeah. Okay, this is the 100 mil at T8. Starburst is very much so there. And it looks beautiful. Honestly, I'd probably shoot this lens at a four, anywhere from four to eight. For an interview, probably four or five, six, unless the background's super interesting. We are at T22. Starburst is hecka there, and it looks sick as F. Sick as frick, as some would say. Dude, that starburst is dope. Okay, cool. This has been a look at the Blazar Remus 1.5X full frame anamorphic. I think in the future, I'm going to shoot a project with this, maybe a little short doc or a short narrative, uh, short film, and then, yeah, just test them out in real world use. So that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.